Okay, uh, today is the last day for, not really last day, tomorrow we have any session. Okay, um, setting a problem motivation with three points. One, uh, refuge field, visualize your two grandparents, sorry, the, uh, all the Buddhist Bodhisattvas, particularly Buddhist Shakyamuni, is all in the Dalai Lama, and all the Buddhist Bodhisattvas in the space in front of us. And how you visualize them? The Buddhist Bodhisattvas, they are so loving, caring, embracing. Thought that no matter what we do, like the parents, no matter what the children do, the parents always shower the love and affection, embrace, come in, in defense of the child. This is what all the Buddhist Bodhisattvas they do to us. Then the Bodhi the field, you took on parents, your children, and all the emotions and things around you. And here, visualize that, the visualize that you are so loving, caring, and embracing to the extent that each one of the sentient beings they feel themselves so special in their eyes. And the purpose of this practice is to awaken the Buddha nature within us. The seed of perfection, oh, like a gold, but when mixed with the the, the mud, the, though the nature of the gold is to glow, it doesn't glow because of the mud blocking the the glow of the gold. And likewise, the Buddha nature inside us, the seed of perfection, perfect love, perfect knowledge, and perfect power for all the demon sentient beings. Why it is not manifesting is because this is blocked by the metal defilements. Uh, metal defilements across one of which is known as the afflictive obscurations. The presence of this stops us from achieving liberation from all miseries of samsara. And suddenly blocks us from attaining full awakening or infinite happiness of the Buddhahood. And how to cleanse this Buddha nature of the metal defilements is by resorting to a very powerful remedy of the wisdom of emptiness which is supported by the bodhicitta which in turn finds its root in great compassion towards all beings and we should be generated with the help of the renunciation <coughs> and this wisdom of emptiness to meditate only when you meditate upon this can we expect to remove the mental defilements. But to meditate on this, we need to have this wisdom of emptiness. For this, we need to gain conviction in the efficacy of the wisdom of emptiness, the reality of emptiness. For that, we need excessive, a, the enormous amount of reflection on this, for which we need extensive studies. So, therefore, we should be wise for our own benefit in this life while we are still healthy try best to engage in more extensive studies rather than practice 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 is good but the practice makes sense cooking food makes sense only if you only if you have the ingredients rich ingredients without the ingredients cooking doesn't make any sense so some people they just talk about practice 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 without any study and reflection this way your practice becomes very narrow and very small and uh, not enough to take you to buddhahood so extensive study is so important so with this determination that i'm going to use this life very productively to engage in rich and extensive studies by making the most of the kalajara center there in paris uh, with the Gishila there, Gishila Tawasunula, uh, with the basic program, which is so, so precious. So, make and don't see, you know, the, so many teachers here, there, here, there, here, there, oh, this is teaching that, this is this, teaching this mod, Mahmatra, this is teaching this, and so forth. Don't see the, don't always see the grass on the other side is greener. What you have is so precious. Stick to this. Later, when you grow more matured, then you will be the one to decide. When you grow matured in your 
extensive studies, reflection, you get experience, you get some experience of bodhicitta, some experience of emptiness, then you will decide whichever is the best for you. Whether it is the Mahamudra, whether it is the Singapore meditation, whether it's the suction, whether it's the uh, the the union of bliss and emptiness, whichever uh, you will decide at that point, at the at the moment, try to build the foundation that is so precious. And uh, for those people in Paris, there's nothing better than the cultural center. That's for sure. You're very fortunate to have a residential teacher in many places. They don't have residential pay at the teachers. They don't have such programs. So they, they, they so this is where the we need to be wise. We need to have a proper strategy for life. Okay, with this in mind, we will imagine that you are leading this recitation and all beings are joining you. <clears throat> and through your great compassion, you taught the Makuri Dharma to dispel all perverted views to you, the Buddha Gautama, I pay homage. And through your great compassion, you taught the Makuri Dharma to dispel all perverted views to you, the Buddha Gautama, I pay homage. And through your great compassion, you taught the Makuri Dharma to dispel all perverted views to you, the Buddha Gautama, I pay homage. Sanye Jodo Zoge Jonam La Chanjo Bardo Dane Gelsu Che Tage Jinso Kebe Sonam Koda Benjir Sanye Dubare Jo Sanye Jodo Zoge Jonam La Chanjo Bardo Dane Gelsu Che Tage Jinso Kebe Sonam Ge Dola Benjir Sanye Dubare Jo Sanye Joda Soge Chonam La Chanjo Bardo Dane Gelsu Che Dage Chin Soge Be Sonam Dola Benjir Sanye Rubare Shu I go for a few gentlemen enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha by my accumulations of practice of giving and so forth may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings I go for a few gentlemen enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha by my accumulations of practice of giving and so forth may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings I go for a few gentlemen enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha by my accumulations of practice of giving and so forth may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings Independent origination, there is no ceasing, no arising, no annihilation, no permanence, no coming, no going, no separateness, no sameness. I prostrate to the consummate Buddha, the Supreme among, among all teachers, the one who taught this peace, which is freedom of elaborations. I prostrate to the mothers, to the hearers, the Bodhisattvas, and the Buddhas, who through the knowledge of all lead here is <coughs> seeking pacific and complete peace, who through the knowledge of paths, cause um, those helping migrants to achieve the aims of the world, and who through the possession of nations helps subdue a six part of variety of teachings. The one who is transformed into the reliable guide, motivated by altruism to benefit sentient beings. The teachers to guard and protect her to your administrations. The one has eliminated the web of conceptualizations and is endowed with the divine bodies of vast and profound. Who turn a chance for the forever noble and raised to you the Buddha administrations. Inspired by wisdom and compassion, today in the Buddha's presence, I gen the mind of full awakening for the benefit of sentient beings. Om Ye Dharma Hetu Prabhavam Hetu Mte Sham Datha Gato Hevatat Te Sham Chayo Niroda Evam Vati Mahashramana Yeswaha Om Ye Dharma Hetu Prabhavam Hetu Mte Sham Datha Gato Hyavatat Te Sham Chayo Niroda Evam Vati Mahashramana Yeswaha Om Ye Dharma Hetu Prabhavam Hetu Mte Sham Datha Gato Yavatat Te Sham Chayo Niroda Evam Vati Mahashramana Yeswaham 
all phenomena arise from causes. The causes are taught by the Tathagata, the cessation causes at rest are taught by the great seer. Profound, peaceful, elaboration free, clear light and non composite, such as nectar light Dharma have discovered. Finding no one who can fathom this teaching in silence are returned to the woods. Pure utterance, thought and expression is a perfection of wisdom, which is unborn, unceased and has an initial space. Is object of apprehension of self-realized wisdom. To you, the mother of the Buddhas, of the three times I be a sins. Forces of Buddhist teachings. All composite things seem permanent. All contaminated things are the nature of suffering. All phenomena are the nature of emptiness and selflessness. Transcending sorrow is peace. The Guru is the Buddha. The Guru is the Dharma. Likewise, the Guru is the Sangha. The Guru is the source of everything wholesome. I go for refuge in the Guru. By the sound of the vibrant drum of Dharma, you liberate all beings from miseries. I beseech you to kindly remain and give teachings until the end of the expense of billions of eons. The Buddha does not watch the negative videos of beings, nor does he remove their miseries by his hands. His spiritual realizations are transferred to them. It is not transferred to them. It is by teaching the truth of the suchness that the beings are liberated. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all directions to chant the light of Dharma for all bewildered miseries gloom. Instructions on parting from before attachments. If you are attached to this life, you are not a spiritual practitioner. If you are attached to samsara, you have no renunciation. If you are attached to your own self-interest, you have no bodhicitta. If there is grasping, you do not have the view. Page 14. <coughs> Praise to Shakyam Buddha. To the founder, the endowed, transcendent destroyer, the one gone beyond, the four destroyer, completely perfected, the full awakened being, perfect in knowledge and in good conduct, Sugada, nor the world, supreme God of human beings to be tamed, teacher of gods and human beings, to you the complete and fully awakened one, the endowed, transcendent destroyer, the glorious conqueror, the subdued from the Shakya clan, I prostrate me offerings and go for refuge. When O oh, Supreme amongst humans, you born on this earth, who pays out seven strides, then set him supreme in this world. To you, her wise, then I prostrate. With pure bodies, form supremely pure, with emotion like a golden mountain, fame that blazes in the three worlds, win of the best, Lord, to you I prostrate. With the supreme sun's face like a spotless moon, color like gold, to you I prostrate. Thus, we like you, the three worlds are not, incompatible wise one, to you I prostrate. The Savior having great compassion, the Founder having all understanding, the field of merit, the qualities like a large vast ocean, to you the Tathagata I prostrate. The purity that frees one from the attachment, the virtue that frees one from the lower realms, the one part, the sublime pure reality, to the Dharma that pacifies I prostrate. Those who are liberated and also show the part of liberation, the holy field qualified with realizations, who are devoted to the moral precepts, to you the Sangha I prostrate. Do not commit any non virtuous actions, perform only perfect virtuous actions, subdue your mind thoroughly, this is a teaching of the Buddha. A star, a visual aberration, a flame of lamb, an illusion, a drop of dew or a bubble, a dream, a flash of lightning, a cloud, a conditioned things as such. Through this merits mist and shimming is attained the rank of false seeing, except to the four faults, and be delivered from some sort of solution, perturbed by the ways of aging, sickness, and death. <coughs> okay, Hearts was on page 29. I prostrate to the Ari Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time the Buddha was dwelling on the mass of Vulture's Mountain in Rajgriha together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Buddha was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound illumination. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aravalokiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound illumination of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inner nature. Then through the power of the Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aravalokiteshvara, how should any child of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity with profound perfection and wisdom train? He said that, and the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aravalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Charitra Adiputra, Charitra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity with the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this, correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also have empty of inner nature. Form is empty, emptiness of form, empty is not other than form, 
homeless was no, uh, no longer than emptiness. In the same way, fading, discrimination, composite factors, and consciousness are empty. Charibhadra, likewise, all phenomena are empty, without characteristic, unproduced, unseen, stainless, not without stain, not division, not fulfilled. Charibhadra, therefore, in emptiness there is no form, no fading, no discrimination, no composite factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no object of touch, and no phenomena. There is no eye element and so on, up to and including no mind element and no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on, up to and including no aging and death, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation of the path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shari Buddha, therefore, because there is no, no attainment, Bodhisattvas to lie one and dwell in professional wisdom, the mind without obscuration and thus without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point in Nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifest a complete awakening, transfer possible, perfect, complete enlightenment in reliance on the professional wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the professional wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequal, the mantra that totally pacifies all suffering should be known as truth since it is not false. The mother of the professional wisdom is declared, Deyata Om Gade Gade Bara Gade Bara Sam Gade Bodhi Swaha. Shariputra, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva should train in profound professional wisdom like that. Then the Buddha rose from their concentration and commanded the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arvaluga Tishwara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage, it is like that, it is like that. One should practice the profound professional wisdom just as you indicate it, even that the Thakadas rejoice. The Buddha having thus spoken, and the Venerable Sharit Vadiputra, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Aravaluka Teshvara, who surrounded the entirety along with the world of gods, humans, Asuras, and Gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Buddha. Okay, uh, let us imagine that we are all there in Rajkir, watch us speak in front of Buddha Shakyamuni. Aravalukitishvara Shariputra and imagine that you are right there in front of them and your two parents, your children, all the demons and are with you and um, imagine that the Buddha Shakyamuni is exhorting us thus <coughs> Don't remain in fears of samsara anymore, come, come to the ultimate happiness invoke your Buddha nature, remove the mental defilements and here is your infinite happiness, total fearlessness and you hearing this Melodious voice of Buddha Shakyamuni, you are so inspired. You just inform, quickly inform this to all your dear mother sentient beings. Look, this is about a compassion teacher, Buddha Shakyamuni is exhorting us. Let us not remain in fears anymore. Let us turn towards the infinite, the, the, the total fearlessness. Let us go from the state of misery to the infinite happiness by awakening your Buddha nature within. So, hearing this, all your dear mother sentient beings, they are so happy so inspired, become so positive, they join to they join you the to go to the state of the ultimate happiness by cleansing your mental defilements and to awaken the Buddha nature. <clears throat> With a smile let's say this seven times together. Deyata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhiswatyata Ongate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhiswatyata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhiswatyata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhiswatyata Om Gate Gate Paragate Paragate 
संगते बोधि स्वाद्य पारगते पारसंगते बोधि स्वाद्य ओम गते गते पार गे पार संगते बोधि स्वा by the teaching of the three supreme jewels presiding power of truth may in and out of him be transformed may they be dispelled may they be non-existent may they be pacified may all negative forces of hers of the dharma be completely pacified may the hosts of 80,000 obstacles be pacified may we be separated from problems the har- conditions harmful to the dharma may all germs be made in accord with the dharma may all species of perfect happiness pervade this place now Adverses for Mind Training, page 35. <clears throat> With the determination to achieve the highest aim, for the benefit of all sentient beings, which surpasses even the wishful thing of Jem, may hold them dear at all times. Whenever I interact with someone, may view myself as the wisdom among us all, and from the very depths of my heart, respectfully hold others as superior. And all my deeds may I probe into my mind, and as soon as mental and emotional afflictions arise, as they endanger myself and others, may I strongly confront them and avert them. When I see beings of unpleasant character, and those oppressed by strong negativity and suffering, may I hold them dear, for they are ready to find, as if I had discovered a jewel treasure. When others, out of jealousy, treat me wrongly with abuse, slander, and scorn, may I take upon myself the defeat and offer to others the victory. When someone whom I have helped, or in whom I place great hopes, mistreats me in extremely hurtful ways, may I regard them still as my precious teacher. In brief, may I offer benefit and joy to all my mothers, both directly and indirectly. May I quietly take upon myself all hurts and pains of my mothers. May all this remain undefiled by the stains of the aid and mundane concerns. And may I recognize in all things the solutions to what of clinging be released from bondage. From my two collections, vast the space that I have amassed, from working with effort at this practice for a great length of time, may I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose minds must be minds blind to ignorance. Seven and Pusha. I bow down to the youthful Adam and Jushri, you the Buddhas, the lines among us humans. Quantum of freedom in the present, past and future, in the worlds of ten directions. To all of you with body, speech and sincere mind, I bow down. With the energy and aspiration for the Bodhisattva way, with a sense of deep respect and with as many bodies as atoms of the world. To all you Buddhas visualize this real, I bow down. On every particle of Buddha's numberless as atoms. Each of is a host of a Bodhisattvas. And I am confident in the sphere of phenomena is entirely filled with the Buddhas in this way. For the infinite oceans of praise for you and, in, um, and oceans of sound from the aspects of my voice, I sing the breathtaking excellence of Buddhas and celebrate all of you sagadas. Beautiful flowers and regal garlands, sweet music, scented oils and parasols, sparkling lights and sublime incense are offered to you tourists once the Buddhas. Fine dress and fragrant perfume, central wood powder, heaped high as Mount Meru, all wondrous offerings and spectacular array are offered to you victorious ones. With transcendent offerings, peerless and vast, with profound admiration for all the Buddhas, with strength of conviction in the Buddhist other way, I offer and bow down to all victorious ones. Every harmful action I have done with my body, speech and mind, overwhelmed by attachment, anger and confusion, all these are openly laid bare before you. I lift my heart and rejoice in all the merit of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in ten directions, or solid realize that she is still training in those beyond and of all ordinary beings. You who are the bright lights of worlds in ten directions, who attained a Buddha's omniscience through the stages of awakening, all you who are my guides, please turn the supreme wheel of Dharma. With palms together, I earnestly request who you may actualize per Nirvana. Please stay with us for eons, numberless as atoms of the world, for the happiness and well-being of all wanderers in samsara. Whatever slight I may have accumulated, <clears throat> by making prostration, offering and confessing, rejoicing and requesting that the Buddha stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for the full awakening of all beings. Okay, before the short mantra, we will recite the 
um, the short sutra, the noble Mani sutra, translated, not translated. Okay, and then we will re, uh, we'll do the short mantra offering. <clears throat> This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with marmero, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha filled and offer it. May all sentient beings that enjoy this pure land. Oh, Four Thomas Venerable Kambaba. May I be blessed that my mind is directed towards the Dharma. May I be blessed that my Dharma practice is on the, the proper path. May I be blessed that the path is free of flaws. May I be blessed that flaws are seen in the light of exalted wisdom. The Four Dharmas Venerable Bhikshu Mahasattva. Becoming utterly frustrated with the ignorance that grasps with the true existence. Please bless me to generate genuine renunciation, seeing all aspects of samsara is vicious and repulsive. Please bless me that my mind stream overflows with the precious Bodhichi that that cherishes others more than myself. Please bless me to have an immaculate experience of the wisdom of emptiness that doesn't see even an atom of intrinsic reality on the basis of understanding how things come into being by dependent origination through mere conditioning. Please bless me that my mind stream overflows with the precious wisdom of the non-duality to bliss and emptiness. Edam Guru Rana Mandalavam Niradeyame the foundation of all good qualities by Lama Tsongkhapa. <coughs> the foundation of all good qualities is a kind of perfect pure guru. Correct devotion to him is the root of path. By clearly seeing this and applying great effort, please bless me to rely upon him with great respect. Understanding that the precious freedom of this rebirth is found only once is greatly meaningful and is difficult to find again. Please bless me to generate the mind that unceasingly day and night takes its essence. This life is as impermanent as a water bubble. Remember how quickly it, it decays and death comes. After that, just like a shadow follows the body, the results of virtues, non virtues come and follow. Finding firm and definite conviction in this, please bless me always to be careful to abandon even the slightest negativity and accomplish all virtuous deeds. Some sadhic splendors are unsatisfying and unreliable, seeking them to draw to all suffering. In recognizing these shortcomings, please bless me to generate a strong wish for the bliss of liberation. Led by this pure thought, mindfulness, alertness, and great question arise. The root of the teaching is keeping the breath emotional vows. Please bless me to accomplish this essential practice. Just as I have fallen into the sea of samsara, so fall among my creative beings. Please bless me to see this training bodhicitta, uh, train the supreme bodhicitta, and bear the responsibility of freeing my greater beings. Even if developed bodhicitta, but I don't practice the three types of morality, I not achieve enlightenment. With my clear recognition of this, please bless me to practice the Bodhisattva vows with great energy. Once I pacify distraction to wrong objects and correctly analyze the meaning of reality, please bless me to generate quickly within the mind stream the unified part of Kama Bhattin special inside. Having become a pure vessel by training the general path, please bless me to enter the holy gateway of the fortunate ones, the supreme Vajra vehicle. At that time, the basis of accomplishing the two attainments is keeping pure vows and samaya. As I become firmly convinced of this, please bless me to protect these vows and pleasures like my life. Then, having realized the importance of the two stages, the essence of Vajrayana, by practicing with great energy, never give up the four sessions, please bless me to realize the teaching of the holy Guru. Like that, may the Gurus who showed noble 
apart, and especially with friends who practice their long lives. Please bless me to pass that completely all out in any hindrances. And all my lives never separated from perfect gurus. I enjoy the magnificent dharma by completing the qualities of stages and the paths. May I clearly attain the state of Vajratara. <coughs> You are Avalokiteshvara, great treasurer of non-referential compassion. And Majushri, the master of the flawless wisdom, as well as the Vajrapani, destroyed hosts of demons without exception. Sankha so by crown jewel of the sage land of snows, to look Santa by the feed and make prostrations. <clears throat> great treasure of non referential compassion, and Majushri, Master of Flawless Wisdom, as well as Vajrapani, destroy hosts of demons without exception, Sangaba, crown jewel of the stage, land of snows, lobes on top of your feet, and make prostrations. Okay, the general mind of consummate yoga. <clears throat> the first day. A single point of meditation, five minutes.
Okay, next presentation on the basis of the four seals. Uh, the four seals today, uh, since the tomorrow also we have one session. Today what we do is that we will, they are not really guarded. You will try to see if you can do it on your own. They, I'll just indicate the, the lines. All composite things are impermanent. Then you think about the impermanence, the, the way, if possible, try to remember what we did the last few days, the mornings and see if you can do that and I, as I move to the next which is all contaminating stuff in nature when I move there you don't have to rush to jump slowly wind up what you're doing of the first practice and then move to the second so this I want to do and then the third one emptiness okay there also you try we practice this the last few days and emptiness how much you can meditate just see and then transition sorrow. And then finally I'll say the real meaning of renunciation. Then you try to formulate. Remember what we said of the last days. And tomorrow we will do the guided. Okay. All composite things impermanent. All contaminated things are self nature.
everything is the nature, emptiness and selflessness. Transcending sorrow is absolute peace. I wish to to abide in this experience of emptiness where all your miseries dissolve, your all your sorrows are dissolved. That wish is the most refined version of the renunciation. Just stay in this experience for some time. Bodhicitta, the four vegetables. I think now four vegetables, we are all experts in this. Today we'll do the four vegetables again on your own. And um, Okay, just if you can um, be self-sufficient. Okay, good. Ready? Then at the end of four measurables, then we'll make the bodhicitta commitment. Good. Immeasurable loving kindness. So each of these have um, the three parts. How good it would be that you have the happiness, all sentient beings are happiness, and the cause of happiness. May all sentient beings are happiness, cause of happiness. I will take the responsibility. Three. For each of the four measurables. Okay. And then sharing the blessings from the Buddhist Bodhisattvas for you and all the sentient beings. Immeasurable love and kindness.
Wir müssen auch gemessen. Immeasurable joy. That's the immeasurable equanimity. <clears throat> Just about in this experience of the unconditional, unconditional love, which underscores all the four mesh pools. <laughs> with this spirit of unconditional love for all demons and beings with folded hands, let us make the body of commitment three times together. May I become Buddha for the benefit of all my dear mother sentient beings. May I become Buddha for the benefit of all my dear mother sentient beings. May I become Buddha for the benefit of all my dear mother sentient beings. Just about in the experience of the most beautiful mother Bodhicitta for a while. Slowly transform this beautiful mother bodhicitta into a spotless, clean, moon disk, horizontally sitting with the heart.
That's amazing that we made such a courageous commitment to become Buddha for the benefit of sentient beings. So, how can you become Buddha? Yes, by the mental developments and the Buddha nature will awaken in its full form. How to make it happen? <coughs> but it's sort of a very powerful remedy of the ultimate Bodhicitta, which is the non-dual wisdom of not the Adi Bodhisattvas. Okay, let us quickly experience the invoked spirit of the body, the wisdom of emptiness, which you meditated as the third seal. Okay, we'll do a quick take guided meditation here on the emptiness of yourself. How does this person appear to you? What are you doing? I'm meditating. How does this person appear to you? Object real like a dream, uh, like a dream, subject real or nothing to do with my mind, purely impurely, but uh, purely existing objectively. Of course, in the second way, so object real there. This belief is a self-grasping ignorance. And how do you know that this ignorance how do you know that such a self objective existence is not true? If this were to be true, remember what Arinigarjan said, if the mirage were to be water, why not those close by the mirage see water? With a similar token of reasoning, if the self were to exist objectively, why do not see the self as I go closer to the object? Okay, now let's quickly go to this object. The mind which go, goes closer to the subject is known as ultimate analysis. Subjecting the self to ultimate analysis, let us go to the closer to the self. Going closer, let us not let us just ignore all those things which are not the, the objective existence self. The first what we see is a thin layer of the skin. Of course, that is not me behind that fatty tissues, behind that muscles. Cartilages and alongside the bone, the bones, whole skeleton, heart, the lungs, the liver, gallbladder, kidney, spleen, pancreas, intestine, stomach. None of these other parts is this cell, uh, is the intrinsically to identify the cell. And none of these solid parts, solid parts which comes to and Elm Earth, Elm Earth is not but in far as interest one with the self. Okay, so if the Elm Earth objectively is not to be seen as the self, then see if the self is different from this, the objectively different from these six elements. And objectively, removing the all the six elements, nothing is left there. So objectively, we see only two possibilities. Either objectively the six elements should be the self, or leaving the six elements aside, they should be self left as separate from the six elements. And none of the two is two holds true, which means from the object there's nothing there to be identified as the self. Yes, that's very true. Stay in this experience for a while, not a family negative. And this experience of them trainers slowly transform this into a spotless, spotlessly clean white vajra, thumb sized white vajra, vertically sitting on the moon, taking the heart. Oh, you, are very, you are very fortunate that you have the two bodhicittas, the moon and vajra, the moon symbolizing conventional bodhicitta, the external self center attitude, and the vajra symbolizing ultimate bodhicitta, the external self center, self grasping ignorance, and all sorts of shoots and the subtle stains. In short, both afflictive and carnal obscurations. Okay, you are very fortunate. But remember that your two parents, your children, and all the mothers and siblings are suffering terribly. Yes, there's indeed intense compassion arises in you towards them. And this intense compassion invokes the Vajra Muni of the heart to multiply infinite number of times. <coughs> Share one cell with Vajra Muni at the heart of your mother, one cell at the heart of your father. One is said but each one of your children, one said for each of the sentient beings here, the human beings, animals, insects, hungry ghosts, hell beings, god and goddesses, spirits, here in, in Saint Com, also in Paris, in France, in the world, 
and the, the Milky Way galaxy and the entire universe. <clears throat> now all the sunshine makes of the virtual moon. Yes, that's, I'm so happy. Okay, minimal, let's not forget that all the Buddhist Bodhisattvas, they're also with us. Why not we invite all the Buddhist Bodhisattvas to be the witness to undertaking the, the aspiration Bodhisattva vow and also to be the guest? And a suggestion of inviting them to be the guest and the witness to undertaking this ceremony of the Aspen Bodhisattva vow. Let us stand up to make three prostrations to all Buddhist Bodhisattvas along with all the other sentient beings. Okay, on your on your knees. <clears throat> Page five zero. <clears> How <throat> you visualize, visualize all reinforce visualize all the Buddhist Bodhisattvas in the space in front of you. So loving, caring, embracing, observing what we're doing with so much of the care. And you are inspiring all your demonstrations and to join you to make the greatest meaning out of one's life. And they, as you, as you encourage them, imagine that all of them so have to join you. With this mind, let us uh, do the rest by reflecting on the meanings as much as you can. I go for refuge to the trouble gem. I confess the negativities individually. I rejoice the virtues of all the beings. I hold the precious birth in my heart. I go for refuge to the trouble gem. I confess the negativities individually. I rejoice the virtues of all the beings. I hold the precious birth in my heart. I go for refuge to the trouble gem. I confess the negativities individually. I rejoice the virtues of all the beings. I hold the precious birth in my heart. Buddhas, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, please be here to me. Just as previous Buddhas have generated the mind of Bodhicitta, and just as they successfully joined the Bodhisattva practices, I was for the benefit of all sentient beings. I will generate the mind of Bodhicitta, and I shall I do successful for the Bodhisattva practices. Gurus, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, please be here to me. Just as previous Buddhas have generated the mind of Bodhicitta, and just as they successfully dwell in the Bodhisattva practices, likewise for the benefit of all sentient beings, I will generate the mind of Bodhicitta, and I shall do successful for the Bodhisattva practices. Gurus, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, please pay heed to me. Just as previous Buddhas have generated the mind of Bodhicitta, and just as they successfully for the Bodhisattva practices, likewise for the benefit of all sentient beings, I will join the mind of Bodhicitta, and I shall do successful for the Bodhisattva practices. Just feel the joy over here when we say this with Bodhisattva vow. And we are all extremely fortunate, and Bodhisattva Bodhisattva is extremely proud of you, what you've done today, you, by encouraging all the other demons sentient beings in this path, thereby lightening their responsibilities of they, they, to benefit all the beings. And the Buddhist Bodhisattva, they are so happy and proud, if that happens in vogue, the Vajra Moon, their hearts, to multiply infinite number of times. Like rain shower, they descend to merge with the one that visualizes their heart, thereby becoming non-dual, stabilized and blessed. Likewise, all these innumerable replicas of the Vajra Moon from the hearts of the Buddhist Bodhisattva descend to merge with the one that visualizes at the heart of your mother, at the heart of your father, at the heart of each one of your children, and each of the, your family members, each of the sentient beings. 
animals, human beings, honey goes, help, hell beings, god and goddesses, spirits, all the beings, thereby becoming non-dual, stabilized, and the blessed of the worship that they visualized, that you have visualized, that, that you have shared with them at the hands. This is amazing. So this greatest of the degrees of the gift that you can possibly think of giving to all the demons and you make and today you did it. And this greatest of the offerings that you can possibly make to all Buddhist Bodhisattvas and today you made it. And in your life, thus far what, what did we do? Thus far all these many years, I'm already in my 50s. Some of you are in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. So what have we done? So say the almost like 80-90% of our life, the, the part of our life is spent on it, the seeking livelihood and what is left there is nothing to be shown but what little that we did of the Dharma but it will take, as Buddha said about this is something we can take to the next life and uh, this will guarantee that we go from the state of the darkness to the light state of the ignorance to the wisdom, the state of misery to the happiness. And this is greatest meaning out of life. This is what a wise person can see that yes indeed, this is greatest meaning out of my life. And this all happened because of the kindness of all the Buddhist Bodhisattvas. As just as just, just were thinking, all Buddhist Bodhisattvas, let us slowly stand and make prostrations along with all the ascension beings to all Buddhist Bodhisattvas. Okay, page 51, English. Um. <coughs> and the purpose is to reconnect ourselves to the, the, the two precious bodhisattvas practice in the future lifetimes. <coughs> Throughout my future lifetimes, may I always be guided by the compassion of Buddha and be able to uphold the two precious bodhisattvas even in the cosmic life. Throughout my future lifetimes, may always be guided by compassion of Buddha and be able to uphold the two precious bodhisattvas even in the cosmic life. Throughout my future lifetimes, may always be guided by compassion of Buddha and be able to uphold the two precious bodhisattvas even in the cosmic life. And the following verses are very important for for us that in the future lifetimes, once we connect with the Dharma, that we um, haven't connected, then we rigorously engage in the Dharma practice. For that matter, we need to, in this life, we need to plant the seeds, plant the seeds of feeling joy. So, for example, when we, I don't know what, what kind of, the, what is the, the small boys and girls, young boys, and, young boys meaning the small ones. The age may be like age 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, boys and girls of the France. What kind of holidays they do for? Christmas? What do they, what kind of holidays they look, look for? Looking for? Like Christmas? Christmas, yes. Birthday? Then? Huh? No, no. What kind of, Okay, beach holiday, going to see. Uh, let's say they say these like Christmas. Or like birthday parties, no, but it's... They went for presents, yes. Yes, they get presents. So just imagine that they, these small children, they very look, very much look forward to these days. And um, at that day, the same length, 24 hours, right? But for them, it's like very short. 
because their mind is intensely there, their mind is fully there, rigorously there. So why? Because they feel the joy. So when you feel the joy, then your mind goes full swing. So that our mind you know, goes into the Dharma full swing, we should feel the joy. Oh yeah, it's not time for practice, right? But there's still five minutes there. Still five minutes, right? Okay. Hey, no, not your time for Dharma? Prepare your practice? It's still five minutes, right? And five minutes gone? And now it's already. Well, it's yep. <laughs> not hurry, no hurry. I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> right? This, we don't find joy. If you don't find, the rigor is not there. When the rigor is not there, then the journey is like a slow, slow train. Tuck, 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 tuck. <laughs> right? It should be very fast train, like a rocket. So for that, there should be joy. Look at how the small children, they look, look forward to their birthday. Uh, birthday. How they look forward to the Christmas. How they look forward to the, the beach holiday, sea holiday. What is sea holiday? Visit and see. What do you call it? Beach holidays. Huh? Beach holidays. Yeah. How they look forward to it. The mind is so rigorous, fresh. With this, your Buddhahood journey is very fast. To cut the miseries is very fast. Right? I say the... <clears throat> Even, even our day-to-day -day illnesses with the practices. Yes, purification can greatly help us. This will be very fast. So, we need to know say, what is the, the real medicine, the bodhicitta and the wisdom of emptiness. These two, the moment you just hear these two words, they, you just, you know, get to feel the feeling of like crying is so Beautiful. Just the hearing these two words gives you such a joy in you. And then to actual practice, you see that this greatest meaning. Okay. And if you ask me, do you feel the joy over practicing these two? If you ask me this question, I would say that I would say that the when I share my share of the Bhujita practice that is done, I feel that okay, now my life is meaningful. When I do my share of the emptiness practice, I think, okay, now my the the, the, the my share. The, so today my life is fruitful, and somehow if I have to do these two so quickly because of you know so many other responsibilities, I feel that okay. So life is the today is more like a waste. To the more like waste. If I could not do these two practices so intensely, so therefore, uh, this is something that we have to pray and to feel the joy. Okay, so the following verses I start from guided Bodhisattva of life to feel the joy, <clears throat> to plant the seeds of the joy over the practice of the the two the the two bodhicittas. So then, in your next life, as a young boy or as a young girl. The moment you hear Bodhicitta, or you around Kala Chakra Center, right? You see a monk, Bodhicitta, right? You feel just connected. What is this? It's pleasant. It's like, you know, but this is something which just gives you such a joy. That's actually because in your previous life you went to Kala Chakra and you practiced Bodhicitta. Okay, good. <clears throat> In order to further increase this bodhicitta from now on, those with discernment who have lucidly seized and awakened the mind of bodhicitta in this way should highly praise in the following manner. Today my life has borne fruit. Having all obtained this human existence, I've been born in the family of the Buddha, and now I'm one of Buddha's children. Thus, whatever actions I do from now on must be in accord with the family. Never shall I disgrace or pollute this noble and unsullied race. Just like a blind person discovering a jewel in a heap of rubbish, likewise by some coincidence, an awakening mind has been born in within me. It is, it is supreme ambrosia that overcomes the sovereignty of death. It's the inexhaustible treasure that eliminates all poverty in the world. It's supreme medicine that quells the world's disease. It's a tree that shelters all beings wandering and tied on the part of conditioned existence. It's a universal bridge that, uh, that leads to freedom from unhappy states of birth. It's the drowning moon of the mind that dispels the torment of disturbing conceptions. It's a great sun that finally removes the misty ignorance of the world. 
is a quintessential Bhagavad from the channel of the Milgut Dharma. For all those guests traveling with a part of conditioned existence who wish to experience the bonds of happiness, this will certify them with joy and it shall praise them in supreme bliss. Today, in the presence of all the protectors, I invite the world to be guests at a festival temporary and ultimate delight. May God and demigods all be joyful. Okay, dedication. And let's dedicate the virtues. The marriage that's gathered, that is holy in the third Dalai Lama, the true source of joy and happiness on the third, that he lives long, and that is his wishes performed for spontaneously. And what is wish? His wish is that the world should be a better place, that better place of harmony, reconciliation, negotiation, and friendship, peace. And um, all these, he has a vision that these will fructify only if. The universal ethics is introduced in the modern education system. So where the modern education becomes complete to develop the brain and to develop the heart both. At the moment, the modern education is designed in such a way that that it emphasizes only on the brain development and not on the heart development. Because of which the leaders coming out of this, they become somebody with heart competition, not with the brain competition, no heart. So these conflicts invariably give rise to conflicts and fights. So therefore, His Holiness has the vision for the world, or the legacy for the world, that the education system should be fixed properly, that it should be supplemented by the modern, the by the universal ethics to develop the heart. The future, gen- the future leaders coming out of this, produced from this, they should have a heart to see the world in a more beautiful way, as a Everyone is brothers, sisters, and embracing the other leaders also as like, okay, my very competent brother there, my very competent sister there, to take this whole world together in friendship, in harmony, particularly to help the poorer people who are, they say, the, the financially who are less privileged and the cognitively less privileged to uplift all, everyone together to um, to give hands to each other. So this is the vision of His Holiness, that the future leaders should um, they should be raised properly by introducing the, the universal ethics program in the modern education. Okay, let us pray that this uh, comes to uh, the fruition. And yes, of course, this is being in the process of being implemented in the various the universities, institutions, colleges, schools, it's been already been the, in the process of being done. Um, the, uh, the Emory University in USA that is taking the main responsibility to bring His Holiness's vision to the, the ground. So that's already in the process and let's pray that it is it will be of great success and uh, then through this many others can also take example that they will be awakened to, okay, this is also possible. And that way, that the everywhere in the world, that this universal ethics, the dream, the vision of His Holiness is implemented in the modern education. So the future leaders coming out of this, the education system will become extremely thoughtful, say, foresighted, and can see the, the world. Otherwise, trillions of dollars are wasted just for wars. Just, and then all these warfares, you know, after like 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, they become obsolete and they become like, you know, rotten. Then again, they have to refurbish, they have to recreate and all the wars, what they do, they try to use it just to, you know, encourage the small countries to fight with each other and they send all these, the old ones. This is how these the country the, the, the leaders with the um, not developed immature mind this is what they do where the heart is missing. Okay. Let us pray that his soul is vicious be fulfilled, that the world becomes a happier home for everyone. And let us pray that the the Dharma, the Buddha and the Western emptiness. So these two thrive in the minds of the people, where the people emphasize more on the body of wisdom and emptiness than single point of meditation, than the, the med- breathing mindfulness meditation. Of course, mindfulness meditation is important, but when these two things are missing, then the person becomes like, 
In a way, like a little selfish, more focused on one's own meditation, not so interested in helping others, taking responsibilities. So this all, because the bodhicitta is missing. Which one of the emptiness is missing? Not being able to see the world interdependent. Not seeing that your happiness depends on others' happiness. Because of these two. So therefore let us pray that people somehow come to feel that these two things, bodhicitta and emptiness, these two are the essence and then others are like the, the something to support this, like a support system the single point of meditation or the so whatever other things as support system for these two let's pray that teachings on these two thrive in the world wherever in the all the nooks and corners of the world and let's pray that all the people who die to this COVID-19 and also otherwise as well to take a favorable birth to meet with the teaching on body and wisdom and emptiness so that each one of them they become the light, the beacon of light, beacon of hope, beacon of the wisdom to lead all other demons and beings towards the light of bodhicitta wisdom and emptiness to ultimate happiness. Okay. <clears throat> I dedicate the marriage thus gathered to twist the realization of the deeds and prayers of the Buddhists and the Bodhisattvas of three times and to the upholding of the doctrine and scripture inside. May I in all lives, through the force of this merit, never separate from the four wheels of the Mahana vehicle and accomplish all the stages of the path, renunciation, bodhicitta, perfect will, the two stages. From my two collections, vast the space that I've amassed, from working with effort at this practice for a great length of time, may I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose minds are maximized blinded by ignorance. Deyata Om Gade Gade Paragade Parasangade Bodhiswatyata Om Gade Gade Paragate Parasangate Bodhiswatyata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhiswatyata 